Live from WPRI 12, this is The Road Show. And good morning, everybody, and thanks so much for joining us on The Road Show. You are taking a live look outside at Narragansett Town Beach on this summer-like <laughs> day. It is hard to believe. I say, load up a cooler, grab the bathing suit. Wow. Do we miss school and miss work? Shh. Don't <laughs> <worry about> it. <laughs> Tell it, maybe it's a little too late for I that. I hope people are out and about. Maybe it's a little too late for that, but it is going to be a beautiful day. And if you are lucky enough to have the day off, maybe you don't feel good. Maybe you can head down to the... <laughs> exactly. I'm sick. Right. Maybe now would be a good time to call in sick. Well, I'll even write you a letter and head on down to the beach, right? We'll all write letters. We'll all write letters. <laughs> Bob can't come into work today because he's not feeling well. Suddenly, everybody at school today is rushing to the nurse's office, right? Exactly. Everyone has a little sore throat, a little headache, everybody, to go home and chill. Everybody shows up Tuesday morning with a tan. <laughs> It happens. Under the hot summer sun. Under the sun. hot summer sun. Under the hot summer sun. But it is very warm today, so make sure you get outside and enjoy this beautiful sure, weather that absolutely. we're having. Now, more than $76,000 was raised over the weekend in Newport to help local animals find loving homes. This is great stuff. Potter League held its 35th annual Heart and Soul Walk at Fort Adams State Park, and it happened yesterday. Very own Megan Wilkes. Whoa, look at this. And WPRI Shannon Heggie uh, emceed the big event. That's right. And according to the event's website, the organization reached 61% of its goal to raise $125,000. Now, great. the day not only included a beautiful walk along the water, but fun dog competitions as well, such as a uh, <laughs> sack race, a uh, peanut butter licking contest, and a biscuit on a stick contest. Oh my gosh. Look at that. I love it. Now really some dogs were even really dressed funny. up for Halloween such as a cow, okay. a football player, and even get this Snoop Dogg. Snoop Dogg. To to that one. WPRI 12 is a proud media sponsor of this amazing event. Very uh, cool. It really is cool and Potter League does such uh, such great stuff throughout the year. We have them in here a bunch of you know a bunch of times all year long and uh, help and find uh, a bunch of animals, you know, a good home. I know, we're good. trying to talk my parents into getting a, a dog. I, I think, think that's yeah, good. that'd be wonderful. Yes. So every time the Potter League is here, I always tell them, that's do that. Find it, find Absolutely. a good dog. All right, BK, <laughs> Monday morning is here. We could head to the beach, we could get you a dog. Well, first of all, I think we need to find a home for me. Oh, yes, <laughs> a good loving home. He's a lost puppy. A but good loving home. Those, uh, that footage, how adorable. Sure. That was a cuteness overload. It was. A cuteness emergency. We, I almost had to call K911. Thank you. <laughs> how are you? Good. Good, how are you? <laughs> I've used that before and it did very well. Maybe you're tired of it. That's probably it. <laughs> I hadn't heard that one before. Oh, thank you. you, so you I hadn't heard that one. She just hated it no, just right from I the get-go. I did the appropriately. I did the appropriately. Well, all kidding aside, great to be back. Good, to see Good you. morning. We have a fantastic show lined up for all of you right here today. Our friends from Rhode Island Football Club will be here. Kevin Ritchie will also be with us. He is, if you did not know, the most entertaining cybersecurity awareness expert on the planet. You will see momentarily, let me tell you something. And a few stars from the CBS series The Neighborhood are scheduled to chat with us about their show's return. Now, as great as these things are, and believe me, they are great, it is also what I believe should be a national holiday, as today, October 21st, is Back to the Future Day, my all-time favorite movie. So in honor of this, I'm going to do my best right here to morph into Marty McFly as we speak. There's a reason I've never gotten rid of this vest right here. I know what you're thinking. This is heavy. Now, Back to the Future Future Day is celebrated on today's date because October 21st is the date. How about this? It's still very slimming, Will, that Marty McFly travels ahead to the year 2015 from 1985 in Back to the Future Part 2. He then has to go from 2015 back to 1955 to prevent an alternate 1985 from becoming a reality, courtesy of the best movie villain ever, Biff Tannen. Yes, this is my life. Anyway, I hope you have a favorite movie that you love even half as much as I love Back to the Future. Maybe you love the road show that much. How about that? I certainly hope so. Well, we are happy that you are with us, so let us not disrupt our space-time continuum any further, and let's move it forward to our next segment, Audrey's in the Kitchen. That's right, so we are in the kitchen this morning with our good friend, Chef Mike from Mac Mac Eatery. And I have to say, Brendan, we were just in here, we have one of the TVs on, but we can't hear anything. And as we were kind of just sitting, Mike was like, you know, it looks like Marty McFly. And then I said, you know what? In my ear, I hear that we are doing a Back to the Future. So there, you did it. You looked good, you looked the part, and Mike knew exactly who you were. Good job. <laughs> good job. 